Hi there, I'm James and I'm going to be taking you through the project management features of iMyMap6. Now, here's a map I made earlier to coin a phrase. Now, most of the uh, project management features can be found in two places, uh, the project view and the task side panel, which is accessed through the side panel here. Um, let's have a look at project view. Now, you'll notice that uh, all of the branches that you have in your map are reflected as tasks when you first go into project view. Uh, you can disable these from being shown in this view by unchecking the enable for project management box and as you see that's no longer shown in this view. Now each one of your branches will have a completed status, a duration, start and finish dates. When you first go into into this view all of the dates will be defaulted to the date of the branch creation so most likely today. Now with the Gantt view you can change things on the list side or you can also change things on the actual Gantt itself. Um, if you change things on this side they will reflect and obviously vice versa. Uh, when I'm changing this as you can see the start and end dates are, are moving with it. Uh, you can also change the completion here and just actually move the duration of front and back there. Right. Um, this task here is showing some of the things you can do with predecessors. Now, uh, just take this predecessor off there. Um, so, without a predecessor, a task is, is free to move wherever it wants. Potentially, this task could be reliant on the end of the presentation view, for example. So, let's start uh, doing this. Presentation view is the predecessor, and the default is end to start. So, the end of the presentation view is the start of the presentation view. Um, there's a few different options. You've got start to start, which starts both tasks at the same time. Uh, start to end which is you actually invert what we saw before so when this task ends the next one starts um, and start we saw at the beginning and end to end so both of them uh, line up obviously uh, th this could be uh, moving back and forward um, right so that's predecessors, a quick overview. Uh, resources. Uh, resources can either be added in situ like this um, or we can load them from Outlook if you've got Outlook installed. Um, we can also do uh, synchronization by sending tasks and sending my milestones to Outlook. Uh, we'll probably do a, a separate video for, for going over that. Um, that's basically everything I wanted to cover on project management. It's a very brief overview. I'm sure there's uh, there's plenty of of other things in in here that people are, are going to find, but um, that's essentially how to get going. It, you'll notice that the uh, parent branches. Uh, so this is the the central idea, and these are the root branches that have children become um, overview. Uh, tasks, they're encompassing the the task below them. So when you change these tasks, you'll see that that they move in accordance. Um, that helps you to get a, an overview of where the start and end for all the tasks inside that grouping are. Right. Great. Well, I've been James, and I've hope you enjoy uh, the project management tutorial that you've just had and many happy hours mind mapping. <laughs>